Hi, Bill Kortoff. So Bill's here, and the first thing he's doing is he's, it looks like he's drawing on a pad, a uh, roof, and he's going to draw, um, what, some kind of configuration or something about how the solar panels are going to go. I assessed how your roof uh, looked, uh, looking for spaces that are minimally shaded, and uh, trying to measure how much space is available uh, to put solar panels. 19 kilowatt hours a day, that's exactly average. You know, it's, it's not crazy. An average. Yeah, I, I studied civil engineering uh, for my undergraduate program, and uh, I worked as an electrical engineer briefly. Um, I took the contracting license test for both electrical mm -hmm. and solar installation. Oh, cool. contracting. So I, I have both those licenses. Uh, I've taken physics and math classes and um, some elementary electronics classes. So all total, how long would somebody have to stay in school if they wanted to do your job? Well. Uh, Realistically, I, I, I would say there's probably at least two years of college classes, and a, a four-year program um, would be a more more viable. Okay, way so to go. two to four years. What kind of personality traits would help? You know what I mean? Like problem we solver. Talk, problem solver. Problem you solver. like being a problem solver. So Tom. Yes. So I presume the reason you're here today is to make sure that once you put the solar panels up, my roof isn't going to leak. That's exactly what we're here for. So we're going to use a three-inch lag screw to. Oh my God. Put your standoffs in the roof. So this what's a right. standoff? No. This is a part that attaches to the rafters. Two three-inch lag screws right here. Yeah. And then after we put all these on and align and everything, then the rails for the solar mounts on here. So that, that piece of paper is the important thing. That's Let me the see important it again. Thing. Mm -hmm. So that's my roof, basically, and yeah. all these things right here are the solar panels, yeah, and that's you, the plan. Mike is supposed to call me back, the solar guy, to let me know exactly what your tilt is going to be. Got cool. it? And if this isn't tall enough, then they have an extension. I've had solar in my house for five and a half, almost six years. Yeah. The system has paid for itself. Are you off the grid? I'm not off the grid. Uh, my electric bill for last year was $41. Wow. <laughs> for the so, whole year? For the whole year. So wow. It does, it's something that is good and it does work. So not only so do you I install do it. it, you endorse it. And absolutely. You absolutely yeah. Are people hiring? Can people get um, a job in this? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But more so on the solar part than the roofing part. Right. There are, uh, there are, there's a lot of companies, I, I do this for seven, seven solar companies, not seven. just one. Seven. Solar and a lot companies, of companies yeah. are looking for um, people to put the panels on. Just go contact solar and start out with the grunt work and work your way up. Mm. Cool. And it pays pretty well? Well, that, um, it doesn't pay bad. Better, uh, probably double uh, minimum wage to start. Wow, And then it goes great. up to? Um, depending upon how high you want to go. Uh, if Whether you have any electrical skills at all where you get into the inverters and right. the wiring and everything, that, that pays really well. Awesome. So. Here the guys are framing up everything. They have to put the aluminum frames up. They can actually attach the solar panels too. A lot of cities require fire uh, room for the firemen to walk around. Mm -hmm. I gotta give them as much room on this back wall here as I possibly can. Right. <laughs> now they're starting to install the solar panels on top of the grid. And you're, you are an electrical engineer? Uh, solar technician. Solar yes. technician. Solar Very installer, cool. So. Solar 
installer. So this is the inverter. This is the inverter. That does the it's fan. A power one, 3000 watt inverter. That's very cool looking. So, you know, it's flashing green. So when it's flashing, it's trying to boot itself up. Mm -hmm. That will happen every time in the evening time when the sun goes down. It'll turn itself off, you get the flashing green until it's completely off. You'll see a yellow light on that. In the morning, it'll turn itself on, flashing green, you know, it turns on. Try and get all this hooked up right here. Get all those wires hooked up and then work on that main panel, get everything, you know. Hi, I'm Matty West. Well, we have, you probably have some, you've seen the, the modules on the roof. Um, we have a 1.5 kilowatt system. Um, and the modules are, are, they're wired in series, two sets of series, which are then running parallel down this wire here to our DC disconnect. So I can like turn, basically shut the panels off if I want to down here in case I have to do any work. This goes into the inverter and the inverter uh, converts it to alternating current, current, which is AC current. And this is what's used in your house. And so we can see here, the modules are now putting off 680 watts into the grid. Cool. So this is a net metering system. There's no battery bank or anything. Um, we basically are using the power grid as our battery bank. So when this system is producing more than, it, more than the house is consuming, it's pushing power into the grid. And then at night, when they need the power and the sun's not shining, they pull the power out of the grid. So during the day when they're pushing power into the grid, they're basically building a credit with the utility company, uh, running the, spinning their meter backwards, and then at night when they're taking power out of the grid, the meter spins forward, so it spins backwards, forwards, or it spins slower. Um, so basically, they're gonna, they're gonna offset some of their electric utility bill with this system. Very cool. And you can see here, this is kind of like the odometer for the system, if you will. It uh, um, shows 11. how many kilowatt hours this system has produced. So it's produced 11 kilowatt hours since we put it online, which was just a few days ago. And you'll see over time, this is just gonna continually grow very much, just like the odometer on your car, kind of showing you how much power you've generated with your, uh, your solar electric system. Fantastic, so we're done. We're generating power. This we're is good it, to yeah, go. it's, it's going in. Very cool. We're pushing into the grid. All right. I like to bring solar online. It's very satisfying. Right, to, right. You know, we all talk about being part of the solution. This is something we can do where Every time we put solar panels online, it's, it's actually making a visible difference. That's awesome. And here, I, you know, I, the, the customers I work with here are really excited, you know. And, uh, wow, well, I got solar on my roof and something yeah. fun and exciting for uh, that they're doing for the planet and for the country. And, um, All right, you're awesome. I like being outdoors and, you know, you get to travel, you're not stuck in the same spot every day, like, yeah. You know, warehouse jobs and all that. Are there any challenges as a woman? You know, like in some fields, there's a challenge, and that you know, like women are discouraged. But I, I am not the discouraging type. <laughs> Good. I'm not easily intimidated by anything. Good. I just do my best and everything. That's all I can do. It's fun. I definitely. The industry is is growing by leaps and bounds. I've been working with solar since 1997. And I can tell you, it was, it's come a long, long way since then, and I, I think it's got a long way to go. So it's, uh, it's a big industry that's growing a lot, that's gonna continue to grow. There's definitely a lot of opportunities there. Well, how do you like this job? Uh, it's the best job in the world. Make oh, really? Happy. Aww. Uh,